We've got six squads on scene. What happened? Let's take a look. So we'll play it back. This all happened near Little Canada. This is by Highway 36. And a thank you to MN Crime on Twitter. Check out their YouTube page as well, which originally reported these events. So a car pulled off to the shoulder. It looks pretty innocent. Maybe they're just helping another car with a tire change. They've got a jack there. You can see someone's, you know, but now it's starting to look a little odd. You've got someone under the car. They're kind of sliding out. So this got the attention of State Patrol. They've got about 650 cameras around the metro area. And this was dispatched to the nearest trooper who asked for additional assistance. So we've sped it up 8x speed here so you can get a little sense for what's going on. You've got a two-person crew. They had a jack on one side. Now they're jacking up the other side. This car has been out here for a little bit. It's got the orange marks on that back window to show it's already been checked out. It's been out there for a little bit, maybe abandoned a couple days. Again, someone is under the car, so that's a little unusual for a tire change. I don't know how State Patrol found out about it. I don't know if they just noticed it or if someone called this in. If someone called it in, great job. So the trooper's going to come out, make contact with this guy, do a quick check for weapons, and put him in the back seat. Great job, trooper. We'll slow it down here. County deputies arriving. That's Ramsey County, both in the top and bottom of your screen. So originally when the trooper showed up, you know, it's a two-on-one type situation. There's two suspects, one trooper. So he's going to get one person kind of taken into the back of his car, wait for some help to arrive so we can control this scene or situation. So the locals come on scene. Now we can start to do a little bit more investigation work. We'll put our second person into investigative custody or some type of custody. And a lot of people ask, well, why are they blocking off so many lanes? It, I will say it is nice to be able to work on the side of the road and have a little bit of space to work in case things get out of hand. You know, why are there so many officers? Well, the more officers you have on a scene like this, especially for a crime in progress or a suspected crime in progress, the more control you have, the more control you have, less likely things are to get out of control and less likely to use force or to any force that you use would be a lower amount of force, at least ideally. There's the sad story. You see the catalytic converter there laying on the ground or a piece of the automobile. If you know what piece that is and it's not a catalytic converter, please let me know in the comments. I'll be sure to correct that. And both cars got towed from the scene. We are volunteers. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment with any feedback. We're trying to get better at this. We know sometimes we miss things, so that's why your comments are so helpful. And we love seeing encouragement in there as well. Like, subscribe, please share.